Teasers, teasers, teasers. Everybody's talking about teasers, and that's why this week we're going to reach back into the teaser freezer, which is a, a new segment. Let's explain what it is. Okay, so it's uh, teasers are commercials for movies. When somebody does a movie, they have to tell you about the movie, and mm-hmm. they tell you on TV or in a uh, some kind of magazine. Well, that doesn't apply here, but maybe on a computer or in another movies. And so that's why we are doing the teaser freezer, which is where we reach in to, it's like, um, it's like a refrigerator, but colder and it holds the teasers inside. And don't get scared. We don't, it's not too cold for us. We're not going to get hurt or get frostbite Mm -hmm. because we have a special suit that we wear into the teaser freezer (laughs) And it lets us be able to hold the teasers and take them out, look at them, and show them to you. But it is good to don't try anything with your own teaser freezer because you could get an iced up arm. Yes, you could. You definitely would not be able to handle it, and Mm -hmm. only we should be able to. And when you go to see a movie in a a theater, setting of a cinema place you can find teasers there that you can safely (laughs) safely watch before your movies but that's not the teaser freezer because you don't have me and Hayes and we're not telling you what's good about it and so that's what makes this a segment and we're doing it and the teaser for this week is Jersey Boys, which we're oh. so excited about. What what's that? You say guys who like NBA clothes? Well, not quite. It's it's about something else. Loved the musical and I'm gonna love the musical movie. It's about these four guys and they sing songs in a special voice. And why has no one ever taken something from the stage and put it onto the screen before? I I don't know. Cody, why? Because. Ugh. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. Let's just do it. Ugh. Makes me want to throw up when he talks to us like that. Here's the beginning of the teaser. It all started with a sound, it says on the words. That became a sensation. But every legend has a you beginning. Real, you want to hear the real story? I'm the one you want to talk to, Tommy DeVito. If it wasn't for me, we all would have wound up with a bullet in our head. So, you can't see this. You can't see it, unfortunately. That is That line, that opening line of the teaser is being directed to you, the teaser watcher. He's looking, and we know this because we've been done movies, someone's holding a camera and he's looking at the camera so it looks like he's looking at you. And so you see him looking at you and you say, me? Yes, you. It is you. Not you the camera, but you the person watching the teaser. That's how it works because he, in looking through the camera, you're in a way of just looking through the other side of the camera. And so you, now you're making Everything eye Everything on the screen has just been seen by a camera. I mean, mm-hmm. that's what it is. Mm-hmm. So when he looks at the camera, he's looking out the screen. Mm-hmm. The screen is really inside the camera in a lot and of ways. And you, everything that you are, and your eyes are seeing, it's like you are in inside the camera looking out because everything that is in the scene is being seen through the camera's eyes, and which the, are your eyes. Yes, and the cameraman's eyes are also holding what is in the screen. So you're kind of the cameraman today when you, he talks to you, and it's so great to get talked to because a lot of times in the movies, I feel like I'm being so ignored by the characters. You're saying, hey... I'm right here. I'm sitting right next to you. Do you think you maybe want to mention, like, hey, I'm going to blow this guy up, Rambo? Like, please. It's rude. Anyway, his name is Tommy DeVito, and he is, I think, one of the Jersey Boys. Let's find out. Introduce you to a new discovery of mine. Frankie Valley. Dream of wild. I heard them all, but I never heard a voice like Frankie Valley's. I know I need to write for this voice. Thank you. 
<laughs> Again, he's taking this right to you. There's nobody else in the movie that this guy can talk to. Yes, and it's it's the solution for all those problems in movies where you're watching and you're being like, what's going on with this guy? He's looking, so the guy's on stage and the guy's singing and the other guy's looking at him and he's kind of looking like, wow. Yeah, the songwriter guy's watching the singer guy sing. Yeah. Is he thinking it's good? Does he want to write for that voice? Tell me something. I'm sitting in the room with you. And so that's what, this is the first polite movie ever made. And that's why I'm I'm not necessarily friends with a lot of the peop- the movie characters. But these guys I like. These guys I want to keep hanging with because they are helping me participate in the movie. And I feel like I'm a Jersey Boys. Can we talk about the Frankie character for a second? Because you heard his voice a little bit. Mm-hmm. I understand they don't have Frankie. He, Frankie's this not guy, available. This guy is talented. He's a great singer. But Hayes, he's no Frankie. He is absolutely no Frankie. And it just goes to show you that there is there is no Frankie out there. I mean, I, I am sure that's the best they could do. This guy's probably one of the best guys out there. Yeah. But there was one Frankie, mm-hmm. and this ain't him. And you can feel it. And if you knew Frankie like we did, mm-hmm. you can really feel it. And he would, you can see it in the visuals too, because the voice is pretty similar. He would do that thing where he would like cross and uncross his eyes while he was singing, like it, like he was going crazy, mm. and uh, like move his knees around, like his knees were shaking, like he was really scared at how high his voice was going and stuff like that. Yeah, like he was just a showman. He and had his, all these. His sometimes when the there was a music break. His tongue would unravel all the way down to the floor. Yes. And then he'd like snap his fingers and it would It'd go all the way come up. Come all the way back up. Yes. So he was a showman. Mm-hmm. You know, a true showman. This guy's good. He's talented. He can act. He can sing. But is he Frankie? There is no Frankie. No, there's no Frankie and there never was. The world is going to hear that voice. You want me to produce? Anyway, so that's Christopher Walken. Just letting you know that he is going to be in this movie for, I think, the amount of time that he is in the teaser. He's in the, in the teaser. teaser for about the time he'd be in the movie, sure. Set up the A-track. We're going to double Frankie's voice. It's going to explode right off the radio. Yeah! Yeah! Is that a different sound? I love this record! Me do ev- Now, you, uh, y- your participation in this movie and you saying that line, mm. what was it like working with... Uh, Clint Eastwood, the 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 director. Um, Clint's funny. Uh, he's somebody who doesn't respect you until you hit back. Okay. And he had wanted me to sort of enjoy the record and to, like a three dimensional human, say that I loved the sound of it or something like that. And I said, well, what if a cartoon cactus was screaming that they love that record? They sort of are roller skating in and uh, they're out of control on the skates. Maybe they passed over an oil slick or something of that effect. Mm -hmm. So the wheels are too slippery. And so you're in the air. In the air. Flipping upside down. Flipping, maybe going to land right on my cactus butt. And I... and. And in that moment is realizing how good the song is Mm -hmm. and is forgiving the fact that, quite frankly, when they said they were going to double Frankie's voice, they were doubling a voice, but it wasn't Frankie. Frankie. It's not Frankie's. But the cactus, I think, would go, I love this record. And so that seemed like it was bringing a couple more layers. And Clint didn't want it, but he needed it. And so that's all I would give him in every take. Mm Mm-hmm. Sound. I love this record. We do everything together. How old are you? Together or separately? So, what that means is he's going to be doing them both. And the more girls you do, you just add up how old they are. So they can be as young as you want. Yes, it's a very appealing idea. That it's I'm actually sort of being... an interesting loophole. 
Yes. Uh, we like to say that we obey the letter of the law, if not mm-hmm. its intent. And this is one of the many ways that you can sort of stick it to the coppers out there um, is if you add up enough girls, yeah. it doesn't matter how young they are. So the coppers say, oh, was she 18? And you say, well, you, you count off visibly on your fingers yeah. up to 18, but they don't know how many girls ages you're, you're counting. And mm-hmm. you don't have to tell them. That's entrapment. They no. actually cannot ask you. Well, no, and if they do ask you, you can perform a citizen's arrest on them. Heaven you got the voice. I got the songs. We make a partnership. I think Frankie would have cut Tommy loose right then. That's what you think? You're not from Jersey. Can't. Wow. Wow. So this is Hayes and I speaking in unison <laughs> because... People who aren't from Jersey mm-hmm. they, don't, know they don't know Jersey. They don't know Jersey. If you're from Jersey, then you know that when a guy does whatever he did, and a dude who knows him might be able to undo the thing they were doing. Oh, you're not going to do that. Don't He don't do not that. Not if you're from Jersey. Not from Jersey, because you don't know how. <laughs> if you do that, then you got to be from somebody else. And you better go back there. If, because. Not while well, the Jersey boys are in if town. If they catch you doing that around the Jersey oh. boys, they're really going to want to know, how did you do that? You're going to have to teach them how you do it and then and you're it's gonna, gonna have take to, a long you, time that's gonna be a lot of your day go see that movie it looks fun it's very polite it does things the way they used to do them back when we knew how to speak to each other and the old ways yes and when a lot of true gentlemen when somebody addressed you in a movie you would say you would respond to them, and you would say please and thank you, and you'd know your manners. And I guess that's what I'm most excited about is the uh, opportunity to talk back to the screen throughout the film. And that is, I would encourage all of you to go see this movie and have a nice conversation with these nice boys from Jersey. I'll be there. I'll be saying, thank you, Tommy. I, that's interesting. I agree that the voice is good. He's no Frankie, but I would want to write for that too. Were I a songwriter instead of a filmmaker? Now maybe he asks me some questions about my, my day, my career. And you can leave with a new friend if you're interesting, like me and like Hayes. So I would say, please do go and please do talk to the screen at Jersey Boys and send us your Jersey Boy experiences, get on the forums, get on iTunes, get on Twitter, and let us know what you said to Jersey Boys and what they said back. We accept videos of it and anything.